colleagues. Today is Monday, May 7th. Let's go to Ms. Robinson for the pledge. Good morning, Mansion Mirage High School. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Thank you, Ms. Robinson. Students, this week and next week we're on block schedule, except for Wednesdays. They're still late, sir. Attention seniors, invitations to our Senior Awards Night on May 21st are being sent out. If you receive a yellow flyer, it means you are receiving one or more awards. Some of these awards involve money. Also, please let Ms. Emery and the Career Center know of scholarships you receive so you and your award provider will be included in the program. Come support our dance students at the Spring Show this Thursday and Friday night at 7 p.m. in the theater. The cost is $10 or $5 with a Venom card. You can get a ticket now or at the box office. But if you can buy one now from hgpack.org, you can avoid the lines at the door. Now let's go to Ms. Jacqueline for a special announcement. All right, seniors. Hi, I'm Ms. Jacqueline. Uh, we at this campus want to celebrate your success and all your after-graduation plans. So we want you to come and take a senior picture with one of our amazing frames. Thank you, Ms. Amador, for decorating them. Um, so come by, come to room 616 with me, and I'll take a picture of you in the frame of your choice. Uh, at, uh, at lunch, before school, or after school in room 616. Thanks. Thanks, Ms. Jacqueline. Now let's head on over to sports. Congratulations to boys tennis, Tanya Moy for placing second in De Anza League. Tanner Williams and Eric Gutierrez placing second in doubles, and Carlos Arias and J.J. Velos for placing first in doubles. Good job, Rattlers. Our baseball team played against DHS last week and won with the score of 3-1, to one, and next week they'll be playing against 29 Palms at home. Last week, our girls' softball team played against Desert Hot Springs and won with the score of 21-0. Last Wednesday, Swim had their De Anza League finals at Desert Hot Springs. Congratulations to RMHS on winning Women's 200 Medley Relay, First Team All-League, and CIF Qualifiers. so many gay men who, who grew up here and they're like this is not a place where you can live how can you live there i had to get out no matter how much i order you to come to my side i don't want you to come unless you really want to come if you develop an eating disorder when you are thin to begin with you go to the hospital if you develop an eating disorder when you are not thin to begin with you are a success story or to take arms against the sea of troubles and by opposing, end them. And I kept going. I finished the speech, and I look out, and there's the kid, and he's listening. I hate to disappoint you, but I don't do what Celine tells me to do. But what if she stops being your friend? That she wasn't worth it to begin with. Don't you read magazines? You're not supposed to think for yourself. <laughs> Everyone knows it, nobody wants to say it. Fire the boys. There, I said it. Fire the boys. <laughs> Boys have been mainly in charge of the world for a long time now. And look at it, it's a mess. A mess created by boys. What are you doing? Really, seriously, you're incredibly smart and capable. You put a man on the moon, created an international space station, flew a rover to Mars. The only thing me and you have in common, Mr. Creaky, is that we're both about to die. Impossible. You have nothing but your bloody knives and your fancy karate gimmicks. I have a gun. Now somewhere in America, there's a child holding a copy of Catcher in the Rye, and there's a child holding a gun. But only one of these things has been banned by their state government. And it's not the one that can rip through flesh. It's, it's the, the one that, that says F you on more pages than one. Because we must control what the people say and how they think. Now let's head to tea. Hello, Rattlers. Welcome to the tea, where we give big shout outs to people and events here on campus. I'm Jazzy. I'm Mia. I'm Muscle Senna. And I'm Melissa. Let's spill some tea. We have two BFFs of the week for you guys. Our first BFFs are senior Joanna Roman and Stephanie Badillo. They've been best friends for four years and have plans to live together after high school in San Bernardino. Our second BFFs of the week are sophomores Evelyn Soriano and Juliana Salas. They've been besties since kindergarten. That's like, one, two, three, a lot of years. And lastly, our glow up of the week is Amy Cervantes. He went from the little boy from Coco to, well, a little loco. Let's move on to some national days of the week. Today the 7th is National Melanoma Monday. Tomorrow the 8th is National Teacher Appreciation Day. We love you, teachers. Wednesday the 9th is National Sleepover Day. Uh, good night, girls. Good night, Mom! 
Oh girl, I got <laughs> Rejected. Yeah, you just got rejected. Thursday the 10th is National Clean Up Your Room Day. Don't be so lazy. Get up and clean your room. What are you doing? Get up! And Friday the 11th is National Eat What You Want Day, but choose wisely. PSA, the heat in the desert is coming on strong. Stay hydrated and don't lock your knees. Yeah, Bridget. Just a reminder that Mother's Day is this Sunday, so go and show your mama how much you love her. And congratulations to the prom nominees. They'll be featured on the next tee for a one-on-one -on -one interview with the tea girl. They'll be answering some questions and tell you guys why they should be prom king or queen. Now for some random fun facts. Did you guys know that the Twitter bird actually has a name and his name is Larry? Another crazy fact is that George W. Bush was once a cheerleader. <laughs> Hey, did you know that when abandoned, squirrels will adopt other squirrels' babies? Lastly, Fresno calls itself the raisin capital of the world. AP exams are kicking in this week. And we wish you all good luck. Remember, don't stress. Get rest and drink lots of tea. It's been a great year, Rattlers, but we have to say. Our last tea broadcast is two weeks from today. This is your last chance if you want to be featured on the tee for BFFs, Couple, or Glow Up of the Week. Or if you have any proposal pictures or videos, you can DM us on Twitter at RMHS News and let us know. Or you can DM any tea girl with the name of J, Mia, Alyssa, and Asusena. Well, that's it for this week, Rattlers. Have a hardworking, wonderful week. You guys can do this. Bye! Bye. Thanks for that piping hot tea. Don't forget about block schedule this week and next week for testing. That's all for now, Rattlers. Be sure to nominate your favorite teacher for May's Teacher of the Month. You can ask the teacher for the link. Follow us on our Twitter at RMHS News for more. And subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Rattler Report, for all of our broadcasts. There's only a few broadcasts left this year, so if you're interested in being featured, be sure to let one of us know. I'm Leo. And I'm Emily. And, and we're, we're out. out.